Bullet Train, a new action comedy film, features a man on a mission to retrieve a suitcase from a high-speed train in Japan. But little does he know that a collection of assassins are riding the same train, all with their own mysterious reasons. Hiroyuki Sonata plays one of these passengers, the elder, who's there to get revenge on a longtime personal enemy. The Japanese star has a long acting career and is best known for his roles in action movies like The Last Samurai, Mortal Kombat, and Rush Hour 3. But for Bullet Train, he had to learn a new skill, improv. His co-star, Brad Pitt, you might have heard of him, would add some lines to a scene every now and then, sometimes adding jokes to a serious scene. I was so scared. <laughs> so I had to listen carefully. What coming next? <laughs> and, uh, sometimes it's uh, hard to you know, don't laugh. Uh, I had to keep in my character, of course. Then I have to react and then return some words for him so every take so fresh and interesting and thrilled for me and then when i saw the movie people laughing at our you know improvisation i felt oh okay (laughs) it worked out it worked out yeah my sweat never wasted (laughs) i thought How hard was it not to laugh? at? Because Brad Pitt was very funny, very charming, but your character is super serious. Yeah, it was hard, but I love this kind of comedy. You know, do seriously, but audience can laugh, like a situation comedy. Like, mm-hmm. So I really enjoyed that. So this film is a little bit complicated. If you only had like a couple of sentences to describe this film, like what would you say it's about? This movie, based on the novel from Japanese author Kotaro Isaka, the mystery, thriller, action, comedy, drama, I think. (laughs) It's all of that. It's all of those things, right? All in one, I believe, yes. (laughs) All in one. I know you talked about the book. It's a Japanese book, and that they adapted it and made it more kind of international There are some people who were concerned that most of the characters were changed to be non-Japanese. Did you have any reservations about that? I thought it's a great adaptation for the international casts. And then I heard that the author, Mr. Isaka, loves this adaptation. And then, yeah, good chance to introduce Japanese novel to the world. So we needed the international cast so it's a natural thing and then everybody uh happy about that so i have to say like you in bullet train you were like one of the coolest characters seeing you in action i was like this guy is so cool do you ever like pose with the sword and look at yourself in the mirror let's see yourself on screen and go like I look so cool because I would like want to get pictures of myself is that just me or do you ever do that <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to be cool but I just think about the character and situation with emotion so just be a character and then script has a power editor has a power to make my character cooler or not cool (laughs) you know (laughs) i just do my job (laughs) into the character that's it so you don't look at yourself and go oh man i look so cool with that sword you never look like i look so tough like i could beat everybody up you don't think that (laughs) no 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 you're 61 years old and the character that you play in this movie is called the elder you've done so many action movies over the years do you feel like you have learned about how to be characters in a different way over the years what have you taken from that experience of being in so many of these sorts of action movies yeah i started as a child actor when i was five years old then i saw a lot of great movies from hollywood europe And then I saw a lot of great actors doing own stunts or singing, dancing. So when I was nine or 10 years old, I thought if I can continue acting in the future, I'd love to do everything by myself. And then 
I started training for singing, dancing, so fighting or horseback riding or something, and just continue training. For me, action is not so special; just a part of acting. What type of singing do you do? I just I'm just interested in this because I didn't know. So, what type of singing do you do? Like、uh, you know, pops or sometimes theme song for the movies. Uh, maybe I I've done four or five movies and ending theme I sung, and then I've done some musical from Big River,、uh, Hakuberi Finn story.、Oh. I was a hack in Japanese,、mm-hmm. and I've done Little Shop of Horrors. Oh wow! Japanese Seymour. So mixing between Japanese and、uh, English. I feel like the American audience hasn't gotten to see you that way as much because we're more <laughs> seeing you in Westworld、oh, yeah. and Rush Hour. We're not getting to see this other side of you. Yeah, musical comedy. Yeah, I've done a lot in Japan, but after I came to U.S., the image is like a samurai or a yakuza, but. I think, yeah, I want to do more different genre, more comedy or、mm-hmm. romance comedy or something. <laughs> okay, well, people need to listen to this and see. You need to be in a rom com, and that, that needs to happen. And you can sing, so I think someone needs to make that happen. That's Hiroyuki Sonata, one of the stars of Bullet Train in theaters now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It was so much fun. Thank you. <laughs>